Hi there, I'm Mike Gwinnett. For you today is another Culture Fly unboxing. This is world's finest, and as you can see, it's Superman themed. It looks like the box is sort of Fortress of Solitude themed going on. You can tell because of the blue and the ice crystals. Before I get started, I just want to point out that I've been very vocal on my channel if you've watched any of my videos that I do not really like Superman. Also, I get these for free. So normally I would not have bought this because I don't like Superman, but Culture Fly likes my videos and they send these to me for free. So I'm not gonna say no just because I don't really like Superman. However, you know, I say academically I don't like Superman and that's probably even true. But then you see a picture like this and I go, ugh. Maybe I like Superman a little because he does look cool. Anyways, I'm gonna go ahead and just start this off. What's going on? <sighs> this this might be a super good box. I'm gonna go ahead and start with this. This is a hoodie. Now, I'm used to getting t-shirts and things like that. And it's always nice to get another t-shirt. I actually don't own that many hoodies and I kind of like it. I live in Southern California and you might think, oh, when do you ever need a hoodie in Southern California? But the hoodie is actually most people's like number one clothing because the problem with Southern California is it's cold in the morning, it warms up in the afternoon, but then by the evening, it's back to being cold. And then when you say cold, it's like 50, 60. So not cold, especially if you're in Wisconsin where it's like negative 20 degrees outside, you're like, <laughs> 50 degrees, that's a summer day. I, I get it, I get it, it's all relative. Here in California, hoodies are the thing to wear with shorts, it's weird. But before I put it on, because there's something on the back here, I wanna show this off. Look at this, this is a really cool print. I like that a lot. You got a little Superman in his fortress there. Let's uh, let's get this on. Ho oh, ho ho, ho ho ho. It actually covers the nips, but I don't know if you can see them. They're still pretty hard here. Oh, actually, I super like this. It's got a good feel to it. It's not heavy. It's actually perfect for Southern California. I genuinely like this. I can't complain. Next, we always get a little vinyl figure, and I actually like these as well. So far, I've gotten, a, I think, two Batmans, and I've gotten an Aqua Guy. We have a Superman. Open, oh, Clark Kent opening up a shirt to reveal that Superman S. This thing's weighty. It feels um, like the base is super heavy. It almost feels like it's a it's like a bank and there's money in it. It doesn't sound like it, but it feels that feel you have when you have like a piggy bank that's it's got a bunch of money in it. That's the same kind of feel. I don't. I have no idea what I. Words are weird. You can describe things however you want. I'll describe things however I want, and I'll just use weird metaphors for it. All right, next. More, more next to Lee. Oh, this one's not tape. That's good. This is a Fortress of Solitude glass mug. I have a feeling that this is gonna get some use. Ooh, yes, yes, sir, yes, sir. Look at this. Oh yeah. Oh man, you guys might make a Superman fan out of me. Again, uh, I have reasons for not super liking Superman. Super not liking Superman. He's just too good. He doesn't really have any flaws. And then when they try to put him in movies, they hear those these, these critiques that we have about him and they try to give him flaws, but they do it weird. And I don't know. <sighs> Superman's just, you like him or you don't, I think. But I watch stuff with him in it. I don't like go like, oh no, I'm not seeing that. Superman's in it. I'm justifying why I suddenly feel like I'm turning 180 on my direction of Superman. It's not that I like Superman as a character still, but I like the stuff. I wouldn't go out and buy this. Like I would never go out, I wouldn't see this in the store and I go, oh, I need that Superman mug or oh, I need that Superman hoodie or oh, I need this Superman vinyl. Like I would never go to a store and buy these things, but Things that I wouldn't necessarily buy myself, uh, I'm okay with owning still. I just wouldn't have, like, go out of my way to buy it. So that's that's my stance on how this works. Next though, okay, this is actually pretty cool. This is a floating stand, meaning that uh, you can, you know, screw it to your wall. I don't think it comes with screws. Yeah, it's a floating bookshelf, so I think you're just supposed to get your own screws and screw it to a wall. There's a screw hole here and here. It's got a Superman logo. Uh, but then it's got this little guy right here, and that magnets onto it, so it looks like Superman is like lifting up 
whatever it is that you put on. So you put books, you put an action figure, like you put a Superman toy on there, which I don't, I don't own any. Whatever you want to put on here, it looks like Superman is lifting it up because it's a, it's a floating bookshelf. I like this. I'm probably gonna put this somewhere in this room. I don't know what I'll put on it. It's like big enough for exactly like one toy. <laughs> Not even some of my bigger ones. I can put like one Black Series or like one Transformer on here. So I have to, I don't, I don't know what I'll put on here. I like that. It's, it's neat. Uh, it's, it's neat. Okay, so next. Next we have a pin. It's the Fortress of Solitude key enamel pin. Um, like I know what that is, like I get it, but uh, not not something I super care about. This is the kind of thing where like I like Superman well enough, I, I mean I don't like him, but like I can appreciate him, that's the way to put it. I don't like him, but I can appreciate him, it's the difference. But this is something I feel like to super enjoy, you have to be a, an actual Superman fan for, uh, so I, I'm not a big fan of that. Next. Okay, so this, this is the Bottled City of Candor, is that right? Yeah, this is a, it's an acrylic standing art. This is the kind of thing that you would just, I feel like you just have to be a Superman fan to appreciate. Kind of like the Fortress of Solitude thing. I get what they're doing here. I don't know, like it, it's neat, but it's, it's just not something I super care about. All right. This box smells like, it smells like fish. <laughs> Lastly, we get an art print. So I've kind of gotten the hang of what these come with. They all come with some kind of clothing item, some kind of vinyl figure, some kind of like wear, and then some little fun odds and ends. I like the presentation and the quality of items they put in and it's kind of consistency. But this art print right here, check this out. That is a good art print. I like that a lot. Dang, that's a good, I mean, again, uh, I got the Kent farmhouse down there and I can appreciate this. Like, this looks cool. I can't say it doesn't, so yeah. So what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna kind of get this together, get my thoughts on it and give this a score. So stand by and I'll be right back. Okay, so let's break this box down item by item. I'll give you my thoughts and a score. Now, if you've never seen one of my boxes before, I do each item out of one. There's seven items here. So if this box gets a seven out of seven, then that's the best. If it gets something less than that, I kind of divide it up and give it an average, like a percentage score, and then I grade it based on that. <sighs> it's a lot of work, but here it goes. The hoodie. I actually genuinely love the hoodie. I like the graphic on the back. It's a comfortable hoodie. I'm gonna wear it probably a lot. I actually like the hoodie so much that I don't care that it's Superman. So I'm gonna give it the full point. Next, the, the vinyl. The vinyl's good itself. The, the, the piece itself, it's solid. The sculpt is good. The paint is good. If I liked Superman and Clark Kent more, I probably would give it the full point, but I don't. So I'm gonna give it a .75 just because like, it's not my personal taste. Uh, you might give it more if you like this, and that's fine. Next, the glass. The glass here, it's got Superman's logo on it. That's fine. This glass is thick. It's big. I love it. I'm going to drink so much beer out of this. It's getting the full point easy. The floating stand, again, I like the gimmick. I like the stand enough, and I like the gimmick enough. Again, I'm kind of overlooking the fact that it's Superman specifically. Uh, I'm going to give it the full point, because I could always use an extra shelf in the house. There's so many toys and things to display in our house that shelf space is at a premium. So another shelf, even if it is small, that one extra thing can come in handy. Next we have the pin. Again, not a huge fan of pins in general, although I've been coming around. This specifically, I feel like this pin, ha you have to be a Superman fan to really get it. But I'm not gonna give it no points, just cause I don't really super like it. It's a well-made pin, it's a high quality pin. I'm gonna give it a .25. And then next we have this little city in a bottle thing. I don't really get the reference. I don't, like, I, I feel like, again, you kind of have to be a Superman fan. Maybe, maybe it's famous and maybe you don't, but I've never really heard of it. So I'm gonna give it a half point just cause I like what it is. I like the acrylic. I like the layers of depth that it has. It looks cool. I just don't really care for it. And then lastly, the art print. And I can say again, I'm not a fan of Superman, but let's be real, this looks awesome. This is a good art print. I'm gonna give this art print the full point as well. So, if you've been following along, that gives this box a five and a half out of seven. 
Now, if you math that out, that's about a 78, 79 percent. That's about a C, C plus. I'm gonna give it a C plus rating. I would give this a higher rating had I liked Superman even better. I think these boxes go for about 50 bucks. They come out with one every three months. I think for the 50 bucks that, that would have cost me had I spent money on this, I would have easily gotten my money's worth out of it, even though I don't like Superman that much. I can look past it based on the quality of these items, if that makes any sense. And again, I can appreciate Superman. I don't super like him. I don't have Superman stuff all over my house. He's in pop culture. I appreciate what he is. And now I do have some cool Superman stuff. And now I feel like my collection is just that more eclectic for it. So that's it for my Culture Fly World's Finest Superman Fortress of Solitude unboxing. I don't know. Is that the na official name for this? But thanks for watching and thanks for getting this far. I'd like to thank these people right here who support me on Patreon on a level where I thank them for doing unboxings because they have chosen to support me for unboxings specifically. If you want to be on this list, you can check out my Patreon link down below or up in the corner somewhere. It's there. If you don't want to do that, that's fine too. There's a couple different ways you can help out my channel that are free, such as liking, sharing, hitting the bell, you know, all that stuff. Uh, it all goes towards making the channel grow, making it better, and thank you so much for doing it. If you do, it means a lot to me. That's it for my unboxing. I'll see you later. Bye.